I'm Michelle Graves, your host on today's segment of The Power of Money. I'm glad to have you here. Now, at The Power of Money, we are interested in three things happening. First, we want you to get the necessary education so that you and your family can make the decision that will impact positively on you in your financial life. The second thing is that you be empowered to prosper. I only want the best for you. And you can only get that if you have education and then the drive to make it happen. And the third thing that is so important to me is that you recognize that life is more than a journey and that you be energized so that you can begin to participate in the truly joyous experience of living. So, here's to empowerment, here's to education, and here's to energy. I'm Michelle Graves, your host, Power of Money. And here we go. And here we go. Thank you for dialing in and tuning in to today's segment of The Power of Money. I appreciate your support and viewership over the years. And needless to say, DATV, headquartered in Dayton, Ohio, has been just a spectacular, magnificent venue for the content of this show. I want you all to give them your support. Also be aware that if you want to see this show again, you can watch it on YouTube um, and just type in The Power of Money, type in Michelle Graves, and in today's segment, you can type in my very special guest, Betty Ann Roebuck, who is a certified national health professional and a national board certified colon hydrotherapist instructor. Her credentialing, viewers, is incredible. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Um, I, I, I interview and deal with many, many people, as you know. And once in a while, you bump into somebody who has been what I call a global citizen, an impact, personality, a black woman. Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot. Panamanian, as well as just an amazing woman with many, many affiliations that are too numerous to outline, other than I can tell you that um, her span of impact goes back to 1995. She can talk more about that as we get into the content of the interview. But the key thing here is that this woman is in the studio. And for many of you tuning in, she can be a lifesaver by giving you the information you need, by explaining to you how this thing works. Our national health care is a hot mess, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, 15 minutes with the doctor, pills, pills, and more pills, people dying, cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, everything is happening just out of control. And so, again, in recognition first that this is National Entrepreneur Year for the Power of Money, this is my focus, and she is an entrepreneur, no doubt about it, the thing she has created, the thing she has done. But more importantly, you need somebody that knows how to keep you alive. <laughs> I mean, I mean it. And she's very open about all of these things. I'm excited about having her. I won't continue to talk. I'm going to get right into the meat of the interview. And for those of you listening in, be aware that there is a part two to this show. I've got her on for two segments on the power of money, and um, I'm just excited. So, how are you? Fine. Thank you. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm glad to be here. Where do we want to begin? Let's talk about you and where did you begin and how you got involved in this industry. Okay, first of all, in 1969, I was diagnosed with cancer. Mm. And I have had cancer 28 times. You've had cancer 28 times? I have had cancer of every organ of my body with the exception of my pancreas and my liver. Ooh, thank God for that. Yes, and the reason is because now they're finding out 
that uh, the doctors are giving women uh, Depo Provera, uh -huh. which is a birth control um, doozy. I call Ooh. it a doozy because it can mutate your cells and cause you to have cancer over and over again. What is the name of this drug? Depo Provera. Depo Provera. Yes. It's available just in the United States or is it a global uh, you drug? You can get it anywhere. You can get this thing anywhere right. and but it like, mutates the cells. Exactly. And then you get cancer. Of course. Yeah. But is that is that listed as a possible? They are just, in the last two or three years, they found out that Depo Provera can give you cancer. For birth control. Is yes, that that's, why it's, that's why they give it to you. Most people who have Depo Provera are like bleeders. Uh -huh. You know, they have endometriosis and things like that. Okay. So the doctors will provide that birth control pill. Unfortunately, we see a lot of young ladies whose mothers do not want them to get pregnant. And so when they come to me, I say, look, if you don't want to get pregnant, don't have sex. That's easy. That solves the problem right there. But if you can't control yourself, and I understand mm -hmm. your mother's position, well, then you have to do something different. You cannot use a drug that causes side effects, side effects leading to death. Exactly. And I see this all the time. All the time. All the time. Well, continue about your story. Okay. Um, so you had all of these cancers. Yes. In 28, 28 different. Uh, if I bring you up to date now, um, since I found out basically if you're missing certain things that we're going to talk about this more in the second uh, segment, if you're missing certain uh, implements in your body, you can get cancer. But I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, oh, no, I'll, no, cheat, no, don't I'll you. cheat and tell you one of them. Okay. Lack of oxygen. So you're not getting adequate oxygen. Exactly. Intake. If you don't have enough oxygen, your brain goes crazy. Say, so, oh no, I'm not going to die. I've got to give you some oxygen. So it starts to quickly multiply your cells. The lack and, of oxygen. And because the cells multiply so rapidly, they don't have everything that they need to be good. And they mutate. Because it's they're not mature. Simple. This Thank is you. amazing. It's just that simple. I mean, I'm saying this as a biochemist by yeah. training. You're telling me that the lack of oxygen, mm -hmm. which is correct, but we never think about. I know. So are you saying that people that have sleep apnea are higher risk? Absolutely. Because they don't get enough exactly. oxygen. In our field, we call sleep apnea somniloquy. A somniloquy. Somniloquy. And it is hereditary. It is. You will see people oh. in the same family that are using CPAP machines and so on. And it's because they, they need to turn their sleep gene switch on. How do you do that? Well, there are two things involved with that. First of all, a natural healthcare practitioner is going to specialize in certain things. Okay. Okay. I do the whole person. Okay. So you're so holistic. I'm holistic. Okay. Okay, now, sleep apnea, your diaphragm is messed up, number one. Mm. So you're going to snore when you have sleep apnea. The second thing is that you, you can't get enough oxygen, and so you have to use tools that the medical doctor will give you so that you can breathe at night. To because get more oxygen. When you, when you have sleep apnea, you, you stop breathing. Right. Okay. That's what I understand. That's so bizarre. Okay, but cause and effect. What made you have the sleep problem in the first place? That's where a natural health practitioner is going to be different to a medical doctor. So They're going to give you the you sleep pack. We're going to take care of it in three days. Three days? That's it. Okay, you want to know how? Miss Robot. Yes. <laughs> three three days. days. Absolutely. That's mm. all it takes. What are you doing? Okay, first of all, the cause and effect. Okay. The reason you have sleep apnea or sleep uh, somniloquy is because you don't have enough dopamine in your brain. You don't have enough dopamine. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter for the left brain. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter for the right brain. Those are the two key neurotransmitters in the brain. 
dopamine and serotonin. Yes, so that's where the word dope comes from, by the way. Really? Yeah, I, I've written a, a book on addictions. Okay, okay. but let's, let's stick with okay. the sleep. Okay. okay, now, if you don't have enough dopamine in your left brain, you're gonna have a sleep disorder. So what we do is find out, how do we fix this? First of all, we have to regulate your brain stem because mm. it tells me that the energy is not flowing up to the sleep center of the brain. Properly. Yeah, the, the name of that is the PONS, P-O-N-S. That's that part okay. of the brain. The other thing is, in order for you to sleep properly, you, that neurotransmitter has to be working. So after we manipulate your brain stem, mm -hmm. get it going, we turn the genes, the sleep genes switch on. You program it to yourself in your brain. It's simple. There's nothing to it. Oh my God. And then we give you a remedy <laughs> called Sleep Fast. Okay. And in three days you're sleeping like a baby. How many people have, have you worked with with this condition? Oh, hundreds. I have thousands of clients and a lot of them inherit the uh, somniloquy, mm. sleep disorder. And they inherit it through, um, I guess, DNA from their parents exactly. or grandparents. Exactly, exactly. Okay, okay. Whew, you're making me fan myself. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of this stuff is real simple. If you know the cause, it's simple. you can. But let's talk about cause and effect and, and, and the challenge facing natural health care professionals such as yourself. Okay. So if a person, I come in, what's the first thing you do? The first thing I'm going to do is to give you some paperwork to fill out. Okay. It's an evaluation form. Because the more I know about you, the better I can help you. Right. So you have to fill out everything. Okay. Then we're going to sit down and I'm going to interview you. Okay. And I'm going to get your background. I'm going to find out what environment you, you work in mm -hmm. or live in, uh, where your house is, mm -hmm. is it near a river. Uh, these questions are important because if you have mold, problems, mold can give you cancer. Oh, we Black mold. And if you're near a river, it's a possibility that you're going to have black mold in your house because of the moisture. Mm -hmm. That's not the only reason, but I, that's just an occasion, mm -hmm. okay? Um, so when I find out your background, it will tell me a lot of stuff that you inherited as well. Mm. Now, the whole time you're talking to me, I'm looking at you and I'm reading your face. My because I do, I do do Chinese um, medicine. Okay. So your face can tell me a lot about what's going on on your insides. Insides, okay. Exactly. Okay. If you have one nostril that's tiny mm -hmm. and the other one is bigger, it tells me the one that's bigger needs more oxygen. My God. And that's why it's open like that. Mm. And it tells me that that lung, whatever side that nostril is on, that lung needs more air. It's saying, hey, please, air. Air, air, yes. air, air. My God. Yeah. So, yeah. We, okay. We, we, what Amazing. we call indicators. Okay. It shows up on your face, on your skin, in your eyes. We do iridology. Yes. Uh, we can tell you what's going on in your pancreas uh, just by looking at you. That is absolutely. It's simple. You say, you know, one of the things that I have said over the years is a, the mark of a true professional is the elegance of your simplicity. It may be simple for you because you put all of these years into becoming the professional you are, but for those of us that are, that are on the outside looking in, I mean, people are so confused. Well, what happens- Who do you trust? Okay, what happens is that I always tell my clients to tell their doctor, their medical doctor, that they are seeing a holistic practitioner. Okay, tell your doctor. Please. Viewers, listen to this. Tell yeah. your doctor. Yeah. Okay. Because your, your doctor needs to know what you're doing. So the doctor can, even if you need a prescription, they would do it right. Not only that, but they're going to watch their back. Ah. Because they know that they have somebody. Looking behind. Exactly. Mm. And some of these meds that they give people ruin their bodies. I, I, I'm telling you, they prescribe them like candy. Yes. You sit in the presence of particularly our older population. Mm. I mean, y yeah. Don't be old in America because it's kind of like one foot 
in the grave. Exactly. 15 forms of pills? Yeah. And then other things? Well, we natural healthcare practitioners are going to teach you uh, different things to what a medical doctor will. Well, a medical doctor doesn't have time today. Exactly, and it's because of the insurance company. Right. They can only spend 10 minutes with you. I mean, <laughs> in and out. What are they going to learn about you in that short of a it, period of can't. time? And then they look on the internet or they look in your file to see if there's anything. And yeah, what you've had before and they're going to give you some medicine for that. But, you know, you take arthritis for instance. Yes. You know how you get arthritis? I have no idea. And all that pain? Yes. Okay. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because I do spiritual healing, so okay. I'm going to go to the Bible right now. Okay. Genesis 129. Okay. God told Adam to eat plants. Yes, he did. Nuts and seeds. Right. He didn't tell him to eat meat. He couldn't have because nothing had died yet. Oh, no, you're you saying it. Okay. Okay. So, but later on, uh, we were allowed to eat meat, but certain ones. Not you know, pig. No, 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 they call it swine in the Bible. We, can't, we, we couldn't eat uh, snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Some people eat <laughs> reptiles. I, I know that. Okay. I, I, I lived in a country where they, they, they did. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. At any a rate, thing hanging up like that, yeah. you know. At any rate, he gave us uh, a diet, mm -hmm. okay, and natural. Okay. However, since over thousands of years, the what they're feeding to the animals are killing us. Oh my God. They give, they give them blood, they give them everything everything all kind of hormones to make them mm -mm. better faster mm -hmm. to get them to market faster and then when we eat that we become that sick thing now let me tell you two things first of all arthritis is caused by uric acid when you eat meat you're getting a lot of uric acid mm -hmm. okay you're keeping your liver so busy that it, 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 the, the, the liver is supposed to do two things. It's a traffic cop in the body. It tells the nutrients to where to go. Mm. Like if you need some calcium in this fingernail right here, the and you eat calcium. something with calcium, the liver is gonna say, okay, put the calcium right there. That's number one. A That's traffic a traffic cop. cop. Yes. The liver is the a traffic say, cop. Viewers, did you hear that? <laughs> Your liver is a traffic cop. Okay. Right. Second thing is that you keep it so busy, it can't do its job. And therefore, when you eat things that have uric acid in them, mm -hmm. the uric acid will crystallize, get in your joints, and push against your nerves. Ooh. That's how you get arthritis. Ah, uh, so if a person were to become vegan or vegetarian even, then that condition could eventually subside. Subside. Yes, but you still have to have vitamin B. Okay. Okay. The B vitamins are in, in flesh foods, mm. so you have to supplement. So you have to supplement. Yes, and you okay. have to take other supplements like CoQ10. Okay, to no. help to deal with that. Exactly. Arthritis, particularly the most debilitating. What's that? The osteo where the, uh, the fingers and stuff begin to wrinkle up, et cetera. Yes. Is that from the same uric acid? acid yes. It is all uric acid? That's all it is. Oh, my Guess God. Guess what else? What? Your doctor will only tell you, uh, talk about two forms of arthritis. Okay. They will talk about osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Right. But there are over 300 different kinds of arthritis. 300 different kinds yeah. of arthritis. Exactly. You have psoriatic arthritis. Mm. What that, is that? That do? is genetic too. Genetic? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> hate your parents. You want to see if you don't, if <laughs> you don't go to the root mm -hmm. of the problem, you can't fix it. Right back to that cause and effect. Cause and effect. Because one of the things I find frustrating, and I know I'm not the only person that does, I am very, very careful about what I eat. Um, but they, the, 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 the training in the Western 
world emphasizes symptoms, addressing symptoms, but never getting to the core of how did a person get like this. Exactly. And, and it does not seem for all the medications that are being prescribed, and I can say that because I'm in a neighborhood full of older people. I understand. Everybody is sick. Yes. No. And they go to the doctor all the time. Okay. How are you going to a doctor all, and you're still sick like this? Yeah, well, one of, one of the things is that they, they don't study genetics. So oh. they can't tell you some things that you have or why you have them. All they can do is prescribe to the symptom. Exactly. Which is, let me look that's, it up. That's what a medical doctor does do. Prescribes to the symptom. Yeah. But he never carries or she never concerns themselves around cause and they effect. Kind of, sort of. They Look, they're only allowed to do certain things. Really? Yeah. Well, they, is that by law or by? By law. Code? By law. Yeah. They can prescribe. Okay, they can prescribe medications. They can order x-rays and blood work and things like that. Okay, okay. x-rays, blood, okay. A natural health care practitioner like me, we don't do that. Okay. We get all the information from your subconscious mind. What? Your subconscious mind knows every single thing about you. It records everything Thank but you. how do you access that? Ah, we do kinesiology. Okay. That's muscle response testing. We, we have ways that we can get information from your uh, subconscious mind. Mm. Interesting. It's, it's simple. That, uh, and I teach classes in that. Do you teach consumers classes or doctors classes? It doesn't. I teach doctors. I teach everybody. I teach people from the VA. It doesn't matter. It does not the, matter. No, the doctors who want to really help people, they will come to somebody like me and take classes because that's not what they studied in school. Mm. And Is only, there a, because there seems to be, um, I guess, a, a, a divide between Western medicine and the benefits of what I call Eastern medicine. When I lived in China, uh, before I had a tooth extraction, they put me on golden seal. I actually went to their pharmacy. They made a pulse. I got you. I, and I drank it right in front. Understand. They would not let me take it out. They said, you drink it now. Yeah, well, you, you know why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> lordy, lordy. Lordy, okay, lordy. <laughs> okay, now, we can do a uh, diagnosis. They, they call it in, in Russia, they call it tooth diagnosis. Yes. A natural health care practitioner in the United States of America is not allowed to diagnose. You're not allowed no. to diagnose no. in the U.S.? No. We do s strength and weakness, balance and imbalance. That's it. You can tell you that you have an imbalance with something. Okay, now let's go to the tooth. Okay, tell me about this tooth. Every single tooth has nerves in it. Yes. Okay, and those nerves go to organs. So if you have a toothache. Yes. What do you think caused that? Something's going wrong in your organ? No, vice versa. The nerve underneath the tooth is being attacked. Oh my gosh. And you have swelling down in there. Yes. And then you feel the nerve, that's why you feel the pain. Because the nerve is, is going, infected. Is, is infected. And so what we do <laughs> is we'll give you a remedy like Nocardia asteroides. Mm-hmm. That that that's the bacterium that we need to get rid of so that your tooth won't hurt anymore. So when they had me, and I knew it was golden seal because I drank golden, golden seal. Golden seal kills bacteria. Golden seal <laughs> kills bacteria. <laughs> they yeah. went, I went and had an extraction from a bad root canal. There you go. Here we go. That's why you get root canal. I can't tell you how many people have driven up to my office come in and give me a hug for saving their teeth. A root canal is a bad idea. It's not, it's not necessary in most cases. So what could have been done is I could have taken a uh, anti-inflammatory or- Piece of cake. Tea tree oil. Tea tree oil? 
we're not, are we talking about Australian or from it doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter where Zimbabwe, it comes from. the it mother tree. It could come from Brazil. It doesn't matter. It comes from a tea, a tree. A tree, yes, <laughs> it comes from a tree. Okay, so what you do is you, when you get ready to brush your teeth, and we're yes. going to talk about that a little bit, you put two drops of tea tree oil on your toothpaste, brush your teeth, rinse your mouth out, you know, and then uh, don't swallow it. You, you cannot use tea tree oil internally. Okay. Okay. Then you take a Q-tip mm -hmm. and you dip it in some tea tree oil and swab your gums inside and out. Yes. In two days, you're good. You kill the bacteria. And the bacteria. Is this a consistent or should this be a part of my, my morning Your routine? routine? No, not necessarily. Uh-huh. But let me tell you something. If Parkinson's disease. Yes. You know how you get that? I have no idea. Okay. There, there are many ways, but the primary way is going to be aluminum toxicity. Aluminum. I knew it. And fluoride. And fluoride. That's in the toothpaste. That's so do you do you buy charcoal toothpaste? Is no. that the uh, what you, baking I make my own. Uh, what do you use? Baking baking soda, you sodium can use bicarbonate. Baking soda, you can use um, um, other things. Let me see. Okay. Let me look at my Here little bag. She's going into her bag. And, <laughs> and pulling out something. Okay. Hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen per at a 3%. 3%. That's, you can't use anymore. Okay. 3% hydrogen peroxide. Just gargle in it or brush your no, teeth? No, you make your toothpaste with it. Okay. Okay. It's a about three different things you need. You need the baking soda. Yes. But you have to get non-aluminum baking soda. Well, the problem with most baking powders is how do you find aluminum-free? Okay, you go to the health food store. Okay, got it. Okay. They have it. Okay. And then you put some of this in there. This is uh, hydrogen peroxide, 3%. 3%, yeah. Okay. You can get this at any health food store. Okay. All right. You put in your, your in a little cup, mm -hmm. you put in your baking soda, you put in your hydrogen peroxide, and then you can put in aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is a wound healer. Hmm. So every time you brush your teeth, you're scraping your gums. Right. Right? Right. And you let no germs in Right. There. So this is why aggressive brushing of teeth is not a good idea. No, you're supposed to do up and down, by the way. Just when up. you go across, you, yeah. you mess your gums up. Okay. But anyway, guess what? What I use this for? Mouthwash mm -hmm. and deodorant. You use hydrogen H2O2. For you deodorant. All your, how That's do you right. do that in a liquid form? How do you? I put it, pour it in my hand and put it. And, and you're done. I'm done. Because it cleans the... And I tell everybody, smell me. They don't smell, smell anything. anything. Now, this is going to save me some money because I've been using, uh, for a couple of years, um, Lang Lang and Calendula, a natural de deodorant in a, um, a sodium bicarbonate. Um, Are you saying Ilang Ilang? Yeah. Copaiba? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the doTERRA. Mm-hmm. Is you using Lang Lang no, from DoTerra? No, okay. I'm using um, uh, Lang Lang from um, it's an okay. another source. All right, yeah. now. <laughs> Lang Lang is for stress. It's for stress? So why would they have that in the formulation? I mean, come on. It's Calendula okay. And, uh, but why would you put that? It's all right. You're it's, not going to have stress okay. under, your, under your arms. Well, you know, everybody does their thing. I, <laughs> but this is great. I will do this. Because germs cannot live in oxygen. Makes sense? Doesn't it? So no. when you, you right. only have to put it on once a day. If you've been using deodorant for years, you, it's clogged up your, your sweat man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at first, your, your clothes are, might look brown or something because mm -hmm. you're getting all that purging. stuff out. Okay, exactly. detoxing. You start using this, you'll be happy. Oh, my gosh. You can't swallow it, though. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't right. want to do that. That so, is awesome. Yeah. 
That's easy. Very easy. And this is not expensive. No, no, no. This is just 97 cent or dollars, something like that. Um, if you get it from the health food store, you're going to get it in a, in a big bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. About three bucks. Yes, but you can use it multi-purpose. Exactly. I mean, because not if just If you get a cut, own, you put yeah, it on you put it on and boom. Yeah, my grandson hates that product because when he scrapes himself, I tell him, come here, come here, come here. Let okay. me. The aloe vera gel. Okay. Wound healer. You can put it on. It, it helps the skin grow back. Okay. Quickly. Regenerates the cells. Okay. Exactly. Okay. That's good. That is Simple good. things Simple like that. Things. But you see, people get sick because it's their fault. Up, 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 up. Okay. Oh, okay. They take the finger, the blame fingers, and point it at themselves. Because they don't educate themselves about how to keep themselves healthy. It's their fault. If you well. are sick, trust me, unless you had an accident, it's your fault. Because you could have done better. Yes, you but, could have learned but, how to do better. But, Miss Roba. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If a person doesn't, it's the gray zone. I know what I know, and I know what I don't know. But it's that gray zone in the middle. No, there's no excuse. I see people with HIV all the time. You deal with AIDS people? HIV. Yes. AIDS okay. is different. Okay, HIV is not AIDS. Okay. Human, the the human, human immuni immunodeficiency virus is, is HIV. Right. If your immune system goes down to the, where it can't return to health, then you get AIDS. I got it. All right, now. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Yes, yeah, so I how do you get HIV? Well, I would like to know. I know it's not from a monkey. <laughs> I mean, do you remember when they were saying that people were bit by monkeys? Yeah. And I was like, you know what? The only monkeys in America are in a lab. Okay. Okay. Now, makeup, lipstick. Yes. The chemicals is benzene. Mm. This is and lotions. Yes. In order to make a lotion, you need a solvent. Okay, so here's a powder. Right. And you pour the benzene on it, and it becomes a liquid. All right. Okay. Now this is this is a little deep, but it's important because. Oh, I'm okay with deep. Because my viewers are too. Yeah, so because people are doing this to themselves. So let's suppose you have uh, intestinal flukes. A fluke is a parasite. Yeah. And everybody has intestinal flukes. No biggie. Mm -hmm. Okay. But when you use benzene, the eggs that the fluke live in, yes. you dissolve no. the shell and the, and the babies go in your bloodstream and they head straight for your thymus gland, which is behind this bone in your chest and the thymus gland will shrink. Therefore, you can't get enough white blood cells to fight disease, colds, or whatever. Because? Yes, okay. all of HIV is is a virus. Anybody can get a virus. Yes, mm -hmm. you can get it by sexual transmission. But most people corner it there, and that's not true. Mm. Mm. When you, if you use lotions that have benzene in it, Oh God. And, and handle things like furniture polish that mm -hmm. have solvents in it, you can get HIV, boom, just, boom, like, just that. like that. When you come to my office, it's gone in three days. Just by elimination of the benzene? Well, I have to treat you. Okay. You know, there's some tools that I have to use to, to get rid of the, uh, the virus. Mm -hmm. But Did you know what is you're, interesting? You're you bring up makeup, which I detest. I'm doing it for camera. But trust me when I tell you, I detest it because of what's in it. Okay. Period. Yes. So as soon as this show is over, I'm going to wash my face and remove everything because yeah. I really think it's toxic. Exactly. The another thing is lead toxicity. Mm. You know how you get that? In order to get dye in your hair, yes. they have to take lead to extract the color from plants mm. okay and they take that coloring and they make things like fingernail polish um, and so on 
And then when you put the, the black marker uh -huh, on your, the mascara yeah, and all that stuff. That is lead. I, I, are we talking about mad scientists here? We are I'm telling you. We are talking about education. I, and I tell people all the time, I say, look, when the doctor gives you a prescription, mm -hmm. you go and you look up the contraindications before you fill that thing. That's what I do. See, and so I if you know every, yeah. contraindication means two things. It means that it, this is what it will cause, other things that it will hurt mm -hmm. you, or if you mix this and this together, you're going to have a problem. Mm -hmm. So so that you can go back to your doctor and you can say, hey, doc, so-and-so-and-so, -and -so -and -so, can you give me something else? Something. It's not that you're trying to put the doctor out of business, uh -huh. but you have to use your own mind. Well, it's your body. Your body belongs to your you. Your body belongs to you. So why are you going to take something that you don't even, somebody say, take it? I, I, this is where, and I say this because I know you deal with a lot of elderly and older people. Yes, I do. Who have been brainwashed yes. to trust without question. Exactly. And when you try to help them yes. to expand their knowledge, yeah. it's like, well, my doctor said. Yes. And that's the programming. That's so, the programming. So what we do is rewire the brain. Oh my gosh. Yes. So that the brain can be self-supporting? Well, so that the brain, you have, see we have knowledge. If I ask you your age or your birthday, you're going to be able right, to tell right, me. Right, right, right. Okay. However, that's your programming. Okay. Everything is a program in the brain, everything. Mm. That's mm -hmm. how the brain works. That gives me some insight even to something like Alzheimer's. Exactly. Well, we're going to yeah. talk about that in the second section. Oh, about Alzheimer? Yeah. Oh, horrible. Okay. There was a famous uh, preacher, Billy Graham. Yes. Uh, he died in the bed. Uh, he died peacefully and everything. Yes, yes. Okay. But he had Parkinson's disease. And so his last few years, he couldn't do anything mm -hmm. okay how do you get Parkinson's disease we're going to talk about that how do you get it well how do, how, how do you get it try aluminum back to that aluminum you know I had a very close and dear mentor of mine um, Dr. John Saba who was um, from the Lebanese Jew and he said like 25 years ago he said if they don't get this aluminum out of this stuff, everybody's going to have Parkinson's, yes. Alzheimer's, dementia. Exactly. He rattled off all the things. It's true because they call le the aluminum causes lesions in the brain. A oh, lesion is a cut. Yes. So your brain starts to bleed. Because aluminum is a metal. Exactly. And what happens is that there's something called a blood-brain barrier. Yeah. And these you, it, the blood-brain barrier is there to prevent parasites from getting into, into the that brain. area. Okay. No, okay. not into the brain, but the barrier. Oh, okay. Once you cross the blood-brain barrier, you're going to die. Ugh. You can't get that stuff out. Cannot get no. it out. So you think about, well, so far. So you think about aluminum. Yes. And you're cooking in aluminum. You're spreading it over uh. your your pots and you, I, I, and you cooking in aluminum pots. That's where the beginning is. And you know what Throw they that do stuff now? Away. They coat the aluminum pot with copper. Yeah. But it's still aluminum. You shouldn't use any metal pots. Mm. Period. Um, corning ware is better. Okay. Glass. Glass. Use yeah. vision ware. Right. That's yeah. Yeah. See, so that's what. When you come to me, I'm, I'll, I'll teach all these things so that you can get rid of the things that are hurting you. So let me ask you, because you have really challenged me, and I'm always wanting information, knowledge, because it helps me and my family. I can teach. Do you do classes? Yes, I do. When and where and how much? Okay, now, usually... Um, my classes are on a Saturday. That's fine. Um, That's available for most people. And um, it goes like from 1 to 3 in the afternoon. Okay. I'm not teaching any classes right now because in the second segment, I'm going to ex 
explain to you about Lyme disease, Morgellons disease, and what it's doing. And I have stat I've got tons of people mm. that are sick. Their insurance won't pay, uh, and the medical doctors can't take care of it. So what do they do? So really die? Right now. Absolutely. They just die. Yeah. Oh. They, they get a lot of things like uh, blind. They go blind. I uh, have they, a they friend with Lyme disease. Yeah. And well, it does not. He lives in Sharonville, Ohio, which is adjacent to a huge yeah. park. Yes. And he's never pet a deer. It doesn't matter. It doesn't come from a deer tick alone. It does not just come from a deer tick? No. Not at all. Not at all. Lyme disease is one of those things that's crazy. You kidding? Okay, it does no. not come from a deer tick? It can. It can, but not but, necessarily. But it's not necessarily a tick-borne mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thing. pathogen, like, yeah. yeah. Mm. You got to find out what really is going to see. You don't but find out see, the root I'm cause. trying to get in your class. Because <laughs> I'm willing to make the drive. Okay. And I'm thinking a lot of other people are willing to, to make that drive or fly to get information Nation, so yeah. they can live. This is, we are in yeah. crisis I, mode. I have uh, a lot of famous people that fly in, and that's why I'm so close to the airport. Mm -hmm. Uh, because they've been to everybody and they're not getting any help. Right. And I have a hundred percent of a success rate. Yeah, success rate. That's amazing. If you don't know, one more time. <laughs> one more time. If you don't know the cause of the problem, you can't fix it. I got that. I think that most people want to know, and I'm suggesting to you. And I really do mean this, that um, the class is important. With your time considerations, you can always consider in today's technology doing webinars. And, and I have done those. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I need to get linked into this. <laughs> okay. No, I'm, I'm real focused about stuff. I have my own cameraman and everything. Oh, my goodness. So you can do this. Oh, yeah. And definitely. you do do this. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about your overseas activities, because I Ooh. saw in your dossier, my goodness gracious. And actually, just for our viewers, uh, this remarkable woman has been the recipient from the National Republican Congressional Committee's Business Advisory Council. So she's definitely an alpha female. She, 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, Businesswoman of the Year. What an honor. <laughs> I mean, I said, at well, the point you've got the Republicans saying, this is a good thing. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. But it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Something's not working in our system. Why don't you talk about, if you don't mind, I want to go into this issue with you over in Ghana. Africa. Okay. Um, I have a clinic in Ghana, West Africa, and I'm under, uh, they call them kings over there, or Nana. Okay. And um, my Nana asked me to come back in 2007, I think it was, mm -hmm. to Ghana to treat people. And they came by the busloads. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Uh, busloads. I, what I had to do is he, he has a, a nephew who's an attorney. Okay. And he had to make appointments for people to come back. Because I couldn't see everybody in one day. It was that impossible. Is, well, there, was it that much sickness, do you feel? Well, see, the difference between the United States yes. and uh, foreign countries is that they like holistic. That's what I know, that they came out of that tradition. Exactly. They prefer to do it holistically. Than with drugs. And then, mm -hmm. then if they need the doctor, they have the doctor. Right, right. But they're going to do the natural health care first. Right. And that goes back thousands of years. Thousands of years ago. People yeah. have been doing this. And one of the reasons that uh, the king wanted me to go to Ghana was a lot of people were getting uh, HIV. Oh. And um, chemical toxicity. Mm. And malaria and stuff like that. It's not cancer over there. It's not cancer. Not over there because they eat out of the ground. Oh. But we don't. <laughs> they, but you're right. Yeah. 
they we do. Eat, we eat a lot of processed foods. And, and we they should not. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. At any rate, what I found out, it was the water. It was the water. What was it, the bacteria in the water? Yeah. Because I know that dengue, uh, which is a flesh-eating bacteria, yes, exactly. is very um, high. Yes. And for you viewers, you got to know dengue is also in the United States now. Oh, it's been here. I, I, yeah. It goes back to the Dark Ages. Oh, no. Yeah, you're seeing your pestis. I treat people with that all the time as well. It's flesh-eating bacteria. But what was happening, let me go back to okay, Ghana. Okay, yes, please do. I'm sorry to interrupt. It's okay. Here's a river, okay? And somebody's washing clothes up the river. Right. And somebody's taking a bath down river. So they're getting all those germs. Oh, my gosh. So that's where you traced it to. Exactly. Their lifestyle. Exactly. But how are you going to stop people from, from washing their clothes? You don't. It's okay to bathe, uh, but don't swallow the water. Ah, but what about so your what, pores and no, other portals? Mm -mm, okay. That's okay. What they're doing is they, the people are drinking water out of bags, purified water. Okay. And then they have springs and stuff like yes. that. Yes. But in Ghana, that's why he wanted me to go. Mm. So I treated a lot of people, and they got well. And, I, and, you know, I will talk to the doctor by phone and mm -hmm, stuff like that, mm -hmm. too. And tell them. Yeah, we work together one more time, integrated medicine. Mm-hmm. Talk about that. Okay. Integrated medicine means using holistic as well as medical. Okay. Many doctors are interested in it because they want the people to be well. I believe that. They can't that. do everything. Right. Right. All and they, they can can't. do is poison them some more. Yeah. So the good doctors, quote unquote, are the ones that are going to be doing integrated medicine. They do what they do, I do what I do. And that's fine. And it, it works. Right. Well, I know in China, they do integrated yes. medicine. Yes. The, the, the Eastern uh, trained acupuncture. Exactly. All of that exactly. is a part of their protocol. Exactly. They don't make a distinction. That, that's exactly right. We're a little behind. Yes, we are. For we, real. We need to get caught up. We, we must. With technology today, I mean, come on. <laughs> and another thing that happens is that, um, that we have these, uh, what do you call it, uh, pharmacists that when a doctor prescribes something, we have the pharmaceutical company, the salesman, I mm -hmm. call them, that give you the drugs. Right. It used to be years ago that they didn't tell you the side effects. Now they're beginning to give you little papers mm -hmm, that tell mm -hmm. you. They don't tell everything, but yeah. at least you understand what it is you're taking. Well, you, the nice thing about it is that you can uh, Google. You can, one more time, okay. learn for yourself. Okay. That's, see, if you give me a, look, I had a man that had a, there's a, a valve, it's called the ileocecal valve, mm -hmm. that goes from the small intestines into the large intestines. Okay. And this man was given prednisone for 10 straight years. For his what? For pain. And the prednisone dissolved his ileocecal valve. And so his fecal matter was backing up into his small intestines and it made him deathly ill. So no kidding. Prednisone is, is, a, is a drug that may be needed, mm -hmm. but you only take it for 10 days. Not no 10 years. Not 10 years. What, what happened there? Because the pain it, did not mitigate, therefore they just kept prescribing. It, yes. And this it, is why we have an opioid exactly. crisis. It ruined his liver. I mean, come on. Yeah, it ruined his liver and it ruined his brain. He developed meningitis, it, all kind of stuff. And eventually he died. Yeah, because, that is not because when you start taking those drugs, mm -hmm. opioids, I'm you become addicted to it. You do know. And that's why I wrote the book. Uh, what book was that? Um, the Montgomery County Sheriff, former Montgomery County Sheriff, came to me. He said, look, I'm so sick and tired of these people 
come into the jail. They, they start having uh, drug withdrawal. We send them to the hospital. The hospital gives them more drugs. And then they come back to the jail and it's back and forth. Back, back. and. So we need to do this thing uh, naturally. Can you help? I say, yeah, I treat people with drug addictions all the time. And so, but what I'll do is I'll write a book mm -hmm. so that we can teach your staff how to deal with how it. How to deal with it. Ms. Roebuck, this opioid situation is bad. Is bad. Is bad. Yes. And I was telling a young woman a couple of days ago who's a nurse, RN, and I said, who, who deserves to go to the penitentiary on this one? Because it had to start somewhere. And don't say West Virginia, <laughs> you know, with Oxycontin. But it has alerted everyone to the possibility that it could happen to them or their child. Mm -hmm. And also, there does not appear to be any substantial cure for this in current medicine. We'll table that for our next session because I really want to talk about all these diseases, but we need to talk about what people can do practically to begin to change their lives. Yeah. And I think you're the lady that can help on this. The word doctor means teacher. The word doctor means teacher. It comes from a Latin word, doctore. Okay. Okay. So the, the doctor is supposed to teach you. Ah. Not just say take this and take that. Right. But explain. Explain it. They don't have the time to do it. So you have to do it for yourself. And, I, and you know what? I'm okay with that. Is there a number that people can reach you if they want to yes. schedule in? 937-238-238. 2065. Can Once again, 937 238 2065. I'm located at 8393 North Main Street, Dayton, Ohio, 45415. Health Alternatives Associates is the name of my health practice. Which you've done for over 20 years. That's a long time. That's a long time. For those of you that have been a party to this conversation with a remarkable woman, Betty Ann Roback, about health. And this is the agenda. It doesn't matter if you're wealthy, if you're sick, okay? Because you're getting ready to make a mortician some money. <laughs> That's the truth. And she can help. I encourage you to um, stay alert. We're going to do a second segment with Ms. Roebuck, where we're going to actually look at specific diseases um, and see if we can't begin to have some answers to this health care crisis that we're facing today. Trust me, 15 minutes is not enough for a doctor to do anything for you. Not to disparage you honest folks, but 15 minutes you know is not going to get it. Uh -uh. So, in conclusion on today's segment of The Power of Money, I'm Michelle Graves, always your host and always delighted to have you in my world. And now we're in your world. So you stay tuned and God bless you today. Bye-bye.